Have you ever thought about landing on the moon or exploring its rocky terrain? NASA researchers and engineers think about it all the time. But of course, we need to test technology here on Earth before taking it to the moon or beyond. And one way to do that is with a rocket-powered lander. A rocket-powered lander can be used as a test vehicle by researchers and engineers. It takes off from a launch pad here on Earth to simulate exploring and landing on another planetary surface, like the moon. Before the test flight, all NASA TechRise experiments will be connected to the lander's power and mounted with a clear view outward and down to the ground. And this view is very important for your experiment. During the test flight, which will take about two minutes, the lander will take off from the launch pad and go up to about 80 feet, which is roughly the height of a six-story building. Then it will fly over a simulated lunar test field before returning to the launch pad or landing. What will your experiment see or sense during flight? What's the terrain like? Are there obstacles to detect? Areas to avoid? Or can you find and identify the objects hidden throughout the lunar test field? To be clear, your experiment cannot control the lander, but it will definitely be an exciting scientific ride. You can study the physics of takeoff and landing, chart the course where your experiment traveled, create a 3D map of the lunar test field, or analyze how the lander operated and performed during flight. And once the lander is safely back on the ground, your experiment will be mailed back to you so that you can analyze the data and see how your experiment worked.